Okay. <laughs> Who here thinks that they're creative? Raise your hand. Uh, I kind of think all of you are because Jews are the most creative tribe around. Sorry if anyone here is not Jewish. <laughs> um, and why we're the most creative around is that we kind of started from the beginning of time with this creative, intense spark. What is creativity? It's the ability to create. I'm so smart creating, coming up with that definition. But um, really, the first thing that happened, if you believe in religion at all, is God created the world, created the universe, and from there, created us. In the Bible, we were badasses. The Jews were rebellious, a crazy, a weird, uh, unconventional people. We, <laughs> we did not follow the status quo. For instance, Moses went around slashing different statues, saying there was one God. Talk about creative. Talk about weird. Talk about different. Then there was Moses. He parted the sea. He, he killed the Egyptian. Again, pretty badass. Hanukkah story. We somehow managed to keep the oil around for eight days. Maybe it was a miracle. Maybe we were just pretty freaking creative. From then on, our survival was literally rooted in this disobedience, in this creativity, in this different way of living. So, for instance, we went through the Middle Ages. We went through all these time periods where people freaking hated us. They wanted to kill us. We had to get kind of um, creative, do things that are different. We went in different caves. We spun the dreidel. We did things that were unconventional and weird. Even in the darkest of times in the Holocaust, we still found a way to be badasses, to say, you know what, we're in freaking control. We don't care who you are. We're going to go have a Warsaw ghetto uprising and take control of where we're at. After all of that, all those dark years, why today in the 20th, 21st century would we follow the status quo? It's never worked for us before, and it's never going to work for us. So, for instance, in Israel, we finally have a place that we can kind of go, chill, have our own thing. Um, it is there. Yeah. It's Israel where we have the most innovative society around. And then, for instance, in the Israeli army, we go, um, they're actually allowed to say, you know what, I don't want to follow this command, I want to do it my own way, let's do it uniquely, um, creative, let's do our own thing. And from there, we've created some of the coolest technology in our cell phones and our computers, um, things like the Iron Dome, all kinds of healthcare stuff, just because we want things to be a little bit different, we want to shake it up. We want to do our own thing, and from there, the rest of the world can say, you know what, we don't want anything to do with Israel, but enjoy not using your phones, your computers, or anything else. And in general, the modern Jew is a badass, it's a rebel, it's someone that's not going with the status quo in general. Best example of this is Bob Dylan, who... As you can see, he's pretty freaking cool, and he's even so cool and he just doesn't even want to acknowledge it half the time. If you've ever seen Bob Dylan, you know this to be true. And in general, Jews in the 21st century, we've gotten 25% of the Nobel Prizes. We make up way less than 25% of the world's population. It's actually been proven that we're not any smarter than anyone else. We're just a little bit more creative, more disruptive. We do whatever the hell we want. As you can see there, people that are Jewish are the most hilarious, the most funky, the most jammy. We're here to expand our minds. We're here to try things differently. We're here to do whatever we want because why not? It's never worked for us any other way, and why should we start now? That's why we're still around. And kind of lastly, Mark Zuckerberg, you may love him, you may hate him, you may hate Facebook, you may love Facebook. You can't argue that it's not innovative, it's not different. It's not creative, and it hasn't affected your life in some way. So how is this applied to us? Well, I believe that every person has that innate creative spark that's been passed down from generation to generation. And you may be like me. You may not be able to draw anything. Um, you may be creative in your own way from you know, doing your yoga poses while skiing to <laughs> dressing however you want to being like, you know what, I don't care what you think at work, I'm doing it this way because it's better. 
So today I challenge you to all find your innate creative spark, piss someone off, do something differently, have fun, and most of all, be creative. I believe in all of you. Contact me if you want any help with that or if you need any marketing creative stuff because I'm pretty freaking good. Yeah. <laughs>